I was first taught by the FSPA when I was 14. I teach in one of their sponsored institutions and I'm also an affiliate of the community as well. An affiliate is someone who shares in um, their life, the vision and the mission of the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration and wants to formalize that commitment to that mission. What that primary relationship with the sisters has taught me and formed me is even maybe a deeper word than taught to understand is that those relationships have to be filled with integrity, they have to be filled with kindness and with goodness. Place of Grace is a Catholic worker house. We have focused on hospitality and on providing meals and housing for folks in La Crosse. The primary work of the Place of Grace, however, is to offer personal hospitality to our guests and to see each guest as the person of Christ. The sisters are a bridge in so many ways between so many others to make that kind of a um, transforming impact on the world. I really believe that I would not have the ideas around reverence and respect, that I would not feel committed to listening to those without a voice. I would not be committed to um, worship and celebration that changes people's lives without the FSPA. I really believe that those relationships and that formation from them had an impact on me that no other community could have. people come here, they'll tell me on a regular basis that it feels different here. And I think a lot of that is the, the Franciscan spirit. Healing or the healing act needs to involve mind, body, and spirit. The healing arts are tied into a spiritual presence, to a higher power. Sponsorship begins with God and it ends up in our hearts. We ask all of our employees to understand what the Franciscan tradition is about. We ask them to contemplate the Franciscan values and to make an application of those values wherever they are within the institution. Those values of respect, continuing to learn more, gazing upon Christ within the patient before them, living simply and giving what we have from our own inner resource, which is perhaps the greatest resource that we have. The values, the mission, that's a central part of orientation for all employees. The Franciscan sisters are still here. It's a powerful, palpable presence. I think you could ask many people through the organization to get that same answer. Sponsorship is all about something that's bigger than ourselves. It's something that we cannot do alone. If it were not for the relationship that we have with people in the uh, institutions that we sponsor, who now number close to 6,500, our service to the world would be diminished without them. I am one of 200 affiliates who are FSPA affiliates and one of um, over 100 prayer partners. My schedule gets me there in the very early morning on a Wednesday so that nothing conflicts with it. Um, it's just really a good grounding for me each, each week. Prayerfulness and adoration of the Eucharist um, does bring peace. One of the paramount prayers is the prayer for peace of St. Francis. I wouldn't be as faith grounded, uh, connected to Franciscan tradition, active in community, but for the FSPA affiliation. It's a perfect pairing or a launch pad for both work as well as your faith tradition as well as you know how you're going to live in your neighborhood or in the greater community. I think the challenge is to be grounded in your faith tradition and then take that out to the broader world. When I initial, initially came in, I was on the county board and human services, so that was part of it. Um, later on, it became jail ministry. Uh, the jail ministry is a nonprofit group in the community, has a board of directors, each month, someone from uh, the jail ministry organization provides a, a church service in the women's jail. Relationship building throughout the world, uh, you know, it's certainly the, the only way we're going to have peace in the world. Mm -hmm.